Hi all! Today is June 6, 2020, which means that Canada is just starting to come out of its quarantine finally. What that means though is that I have not done anything in the last three months worth filming. However, this is an excellent opportunity to go back in time to October when I took some footage in Paris that didn't make it into any of the vlogs I made. Carl and I did so many things in Paris. It had been a dream of mine to spend a significant amount of time there and I adored every minute of it. Um. The truck. <laughs> and we'll gladly do it all again. Ah, sand video. My favorite thing to do there was just to wander around the streets. One is always certain to come across something interesting when wandering. Bookstores are, of course, around every corner. Shakespeare and Company is a popular one that I spent a lot of time in. They don't let you take any photos or videos inside, and they're not messing around with it. If you even try to take one sneaky picture, you'll have a member of staff swoop in from around a hidden trap door asking you not to within 30 seconds. Guaranteed. This is another one I found not too far from Shakespeare and Company, but with far less tourist attention. I'm actually not even sure what it was called, but it was like exploring a cave. And I found some interesting titles that amused me. Also, touring the main attractions like the Louvre are things that we didn't miss out on. Uh, new song you see a la Musée de Louvre. La Louvre a libre for les gens à Pasco et les Samedi et la première Samedi de moi. Another amazing thing we did was to see a Moulin Rouge show while we were there. Now, for obvious reasons, you're not allowed to take photos or, or videos during the show, but that didn't stop me from taking photos of the room itself afterwards. I thought it was a fabulous experience. The room was extremely packed, they really cram as many people as they can in there, but we happened to have a pretty good table, and that's not something that really stands out in my memory when I think of it. We got the package with a bottle of champagne and that really completed the experience. The show itself was brilliant. Don't go in there expecting a Cirque du Soleil show though. They're not doing things like crazy acrobatics or anything like that. Um, they're basically just singing and dancing. The actual main attraction of the show is how historical it is. 
It's been the same show going on for over 120 years. The show is really more about the elaborate costumes and songs, the designs of which have been around since the 1800s when the show actually started. Now, the footage that I happened to get on these particular outings, I didn't deem good enough to be made into their own vlogs like the other ones I made last October. But I really didn't like leaving them out either because they were such an interesting part of our trip there. So I really just wanted to get a chance to squeeze them in. With that said, thanks for watching. If you're interested to see my original Paris videos, I highly recommend. They're some of my favorites. So I have a link in the video just here. So enjoy and see you in the next video.